Oh, oh, wait, okay, if that if that's the case, when you touch Lava Girl and she burns you automatically, how did uh, Shark Boy and uh, you know what? Mm -mm, not not gonna do it. Not gonna do it today. The Shark Boy and Lava Train is not stopping anytime soon, y'all. I can't believe we actually are living in a world where the best heroes of our generation are finally coming back in live action form on Netflix. What I'm gonna be talking about today, guys, is talking about the first little teaser trailer that is dropped online for the Shark Boy and Lava Girl spiritual sequel entitled We Can Be Heroes that is set to come out on Netflix. We saw a couple of first look photos a couple weeks back, and then just Yesterday, we got the actual first look at Adult Shark Boy and Lava Girl. I'll link those videos down below. But today, actual footage of what this crazy nightmare fueled fest is going to be looking like. I haven't seen anything yet. I'm going to watch it for the very first time. But I need you guys to leave me your opinions down below on what you think about this. If you are all up for this, or if you think, nah, I could do without it. I'm going to just shut up because I've been dying to see this thing, okay? I was in my car when it dropped, and I was racing home. The only Shark Boy and Lava Girl will do that to you. All right, let's see this. Aliens are invading. We need to stop them. I can't hear his voice without thinking about Mando. You've never dealt with anything like this before. Mommy is logical, but my dad is shark boy. You're just She's adorable. <laughs> Why does this look so epic? Defeated all of the Together? <laughs> Yo, I am getting straight up Spy Kids, Shark Boy, Lava Girl vibes. Even seeing Pedro Pascal there on the street, obviously in a green screen area. How does that not remind you of the ending of Spy Kids 3D there when everyone was poorly mashed up together in what was essentially the biggest crossover until Endgame took over that spotlight? Also, yeah, seeing Pedro Pascal there in action he is great, but tell me, when you hear his voice, you don't just straight up think about the Mandalorian on Disney+. Plus because that's all I was thinking about once he was talking. Also, Lava Girl's powers in action. I am so happy they went ahead and brought her back. This is the actual actress who played Lava Girl back in the day. Her powers are looking pretty spectacular and now with updated modern effects, even if they might come off a little cheesy, I think they look great comparatively to what the film used to look like. Like, uh-uh, son. There was, rumor, there was rumors going around that she's not going to have a large part in this and she was only going to have small scenes here and there, but they are really showcasing her in the trailer and heck, she and Shark Boy are the main draw about this. I mean, they throw out the line from the people who brought Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And every time I hear anybody talk about this, they basically call it Shark Boy and Lava Girl too. I think we're going to be a little disappointed if she only has about five minutes total screen time. Also, some of these other scene right there, like these look like Mr. Electro robots right there. I would not be surprised if George Lopez is involved somehow, or maybe that's just the aesthetic of this world. But the effects right here, I know they're not good, but they are still matching up and bringing back that aesthetic from Spy Kids and Shark Boy that, you know what, I don't care if the effects aren't good. I didn't care back then, and I still watch those movies a hundred times over. Robert Rodriguez just has this great, unique style that I'm happy he gets into this mood when he wants to make a children's movie. Also can't wait to see some of these other heroes that they're going to be showcasing to us. Like, are any of these guys even going to match up to the level of what Shark Boy and Lava Girl did to us as kids, or are we just going to reject them like, nah, Give me more Shark Boy and Lava Girl. And so now it's official. We know 100% this little girl right here is the daughter of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. She says it herself. I thought it was so funny when I first talked about this. A lot of you people in the comments section were hitting me up thinking that Shark Boy and Lava Girl were brother and sister. Boy, you need to get out of here. It's already weird enough having our childhood icons thinking they hooked up, man. Don't make it weirder. But her powers seem pretty cool. It looks like maybe she inherited a little more of Shark Boy with her seeming like she's some sort of water bender right there. But she is adorable to me, especially when she gets onto that shark. That effect, that does not look like bad CGI to me. I think that actually looks pretty cool. And it's even more adorable that she has to put on little swim goggles for her own powers not to affect her. That is hilarious. My main fear now is now that I'm older, I hope. I don't find these little kids annoying because it's hard to find good child actors right there and it just comes off so bad when you have a kid that doesn't know how to act or tries to act cool when boy you're like 10 years old what are you doing so I'm hoping these kids are really likable are fun and that their powers really bring a little joy to me because we're seeing some powers right here another kid in the next shot having some stretchy powers I think that's pretty cool right there like it or not man Netflix I think you have a winner on your hands I think this is gonna blow up huge because Netflix 
Netflix came to Robert Rodriguez and he told them, he's like, every time we have Spy Kids or Shark Boy and Lava Girl on Netflix, people watch the hell out of it. And it's the only reason this movie exists because they went to Robert Rodriguez and it's like, could you make a reboot? Could you do something? And instead he created the spinoff movie that, you know what? I really think is a win right here. I want to know from you guys though. Obviously we know this ain't going to be a masterpiece, but it's giving me childhood vibes. It looks fun and cheesy so bad it might be good. How did you feel about the first trailer of the Shark Boy and Lava Girl spinoff movie? We can be heroes. Is this going to be on your must watch list for 2021? They have it here in New Year's Day 2021. So does that technically mean at the end of 2020, we're getting this movie? That just made me realize Shark Boy and Lava Girl are going to start us off on the right track for 2020. Oh man. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.